Okay. Any questions? Yes. Um, on the other page, when you wrote out the matrices. Yes. Like, yes. Then we know, uh, like u i comma n for all the i's, right? So we can just leave it out. Yeah, yeah. Well, here we are assuming them to be zero, so that's uh, what we see. All the boundary values are, are zero. So right. by just leaving them out, that's assuming zero. Yes, by leaving them out, I'm assuming that uh, if I have another term here, one over delta x squared, it would be multiplied to zero, so it doesn't affect the equation. Okay. So, for for example, if if I know that, uh, uh, so for example, let me give an example. U of zero j is equal to one. For example, if I if I know that as a boundary condition, right? What? How does that affect my? Uh, how does that affect my my system? Yeah, let's put it into f. Then. This would be added on top of what? Uh, this would be divided by delta x squared and added on to the first uh, uh, block of equations, right? So, so what I would get is I would add uh, u zero one divided by delta x squared, u zero two divided by delta x squared, etc. Right? I would be adding to the first n minus one entries of f to be let's say one divided by delta x squared. So let's try that. So if f from 1 to n minus 1 is equal to is plus equal uh, 1 divided by delta x squared, I would be setting one side of the boundary condition to 1, right? So let's do that again. Let's uh, backslash that again and reshape that again and serve that again. Uh, that's my solution. So, so you can see that uh, this side is basically set to one. I think it's better if I rotate this a little bit so that you can see, uh, like because this is the solution. It didn't include the boundary value, right? So, so if you kind of extrapolate, you can see that it is going to go to one. Uh, it's very hard to rotate it to. Yeah, uh, it, you can see it's going to go to one. All right, and you can you can for example you can do the same. For the for the y boundary, right? So if you do this for the y boundary, you would be instead of uh, one one minus one, you would be doing uh, this. So that means is this correct on the notation? So so you you are starting from one, uh, going to the very end of the vector, and uh, uh, for every m minus one vectors, right? So, so that is also setting another y boundary condition to be one, uh, right? Uh, then if I do u equal to minus this again, u equal to reshape. Oh, I didn't plot it. Uh, then you get two boundaries that are equal to one, right? So you get uh, this boundary and this boundary equal to one. The other two boundaries are equal to zero, right? So that's how you treat boundary conditions. That's how you treat Dirichlet boundary conditions.